clinical research facility within an acute teaching hospital has many advantages. The CRF allows us to bring research right into the core of the clinical environment and it enshrines research into the care of all our patients. A very special relationship has grown between the hospital and the university in this clinical research facility. I think it's really important to have the senior drive from both the Dean of the Medical School and the Chief Executive of the NHS Trust really pushing forwards the best possible care and the best possible research for our patients. Having a separate research facility allows you to take the recruited patients out of the clinic environment and it allows us to actually work in a research environment with the patients who understand much better what the research involves. We'll see you in two weeks time then, As they come into the unit, patients are met by reception staff and then collected by the nurses from their dedicated team. Our patient and volunteer lounge provides a comfortable environment and is crucial for our overnight stays. The quality of care is amazing, um, very knowledgeable staff and very helpful and it makes you feel very at ease. I was nervous obviously when I first came in this morning but they made me feel totally at ease. The CRF Fellows provide medical support to early phase trials. They're essential to the working of the unit so that studies can proceed safely and efficiently even when investigators may be elsewhere on campus and for the overnight studies. The nurses office provides space for our four teams of research nurses. They currently co-manage and run over 250 studies with nursing cross cover, which allows economies of scale. The 2009 pediatric swine flu vaccine trial is a very good example of our ability to respond rapidly to a national emergency. We were the largest recruiter with 200 children each seen for two hour enrollment visits over one weekend. Senior management are based on the unit. We also have space for the quality assurance lead, the laboratory manager and clinical trial support, as well as note stores and a seminar room with teleconferencing facilities. Consulting rooms are on the main corridor. Some are temperature controlled for vascular and dermatology research. We also have a dedicated kitchen for nutrition and allergy research. We have adult and paediatric areas, each backed up by the appropriate safety and resuscitation equipment, like any other ward in the hospital. This is our four-bedded high-dependency bay. So this allows us to do very high-risk, complicated, early-phase studies and make sure that the patients that come here are looked after and are safe. The adult area has a low-dependency bay configured with either four beds or infusion chairs for day visits. The unit was built with space for dedicated paediatric research, including a play area, separate waiting area, a treatment room for children to have invasive investigations, and two cubicles for day appointments or overnight stays, including sleep research and overnight drug studies. The facility is absolutely fundamental to the research we're doing here. We need the availability of beds so we can bring in participants. We need a facility that are actually children friendly, so kids feel happy and at ease in the environment. We have a wide range of specialist equipment for dedicated research use. We have four Category 2 hoods for safe sputum induction and respiratory drug delivery, including a new chamber for dedicated paediatric use. Within a negative pressure area, we have two bronchoscopy and endoscopy suites with recovery bays for adult and paediatric procedures. These suites, and in fact the whole of the CRF, are covered by the hospital resuscitation teams with immediate access to intensive care. There's a negative pressure consulting room area that allows respiratory viral challenge studies with minimised risk to other patients and staff. We've got three laboratories within the unit and a new BRU mass spectrometry laboratory upstairs. A standard preparation laboratory lets samples be collected and processed to regulatory standards. We have a tissue culture and category 3 infectious pathogen laboratory for samples that have come directly from patients. In the past 12 months, during routine inspections, these laboratories have been praised by both the MHRA and Health and Safety Executive. Working here is fantastic because it means that I get direct exposure to clinicians every single day. Because we're constantly feeding back to one another, I think the capacity to generate excellent data is much better. All our temperature static equipment is protected by a 24-hour regulatory standard temperature monitoring system. These include separate IMP and NIMP drug storage and several minus 80 and minus 20 sample freezers.
It's an exciting environment where you interact with lots of different individuals from patients to nursing staff to an engineer with an idea for a new device or colleagues from industry with ideas for new therapies. So there's an incredible diversity of interactions that go on with the CRF very much as the environment where it all happens.